Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, CAC in the Spotlight. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. This queen is going to share her experiences about how her and her black friends are all single, and she doesn't know why. Let's listen to her video, and I'm going to come back in the end with my commentary. Let's get to it. So I just went to brunch with a couple of my homegirls after church, and there were five of us. Um, four of us were black, one was white. And the four of us black girls were single and the white girl is in a happy healthy thriving relationship her partner is hispanic and they have been dating for a few months now but like the normal progression met hit it off went on a few dates got in a relationship long distance right now meeting parents soon like the normal okay no 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 gray no limbo no nothing like that and then me and all my black homegirls are talking about our relationship status and all of us are <laughs> all of us are single for sure um all of us are like actively dating some more active than others um and but nonetheless single but then we're kind of telling the stories of like the guys that we're talking to or have gone on recent dates with and like these struggle stories are insane and for reference we're all in between 27 and 29 maybe 30. why is this the commonality with me and all my black girls like faithfully not this just this group of black girls but like so many so many my closest friends my black girlies that i've met on assignments out like all my black girlies that exclusively date black men are on a struggle bus and a part of me is like just get off the bus date other races start dating any other race and there is something in my stomach that immediately just gets sick at that thought i want black love I once read this article and it was saying how black women need to start dating outside of their race because it's not working. Like it broke down all these statistics and all these things. And I did a poll on my Instagram story. Like, would you rather date down or date, like date down within your race? So date down with a black man. So, you know, let go of some of your non-negotiables, a man that makes less than you, a man that like, whatever, whatever your non-negotiables are, date down from those um, or date white. And a majority of black women said they would rather day down. And I'm like, what is the chokehold? I'm asking myself, what is the chokehold? Like, I I myself would rather day down than day outside of my race. And it's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I wish I had more to say than that. I am very frustrated with dating at this point and i get the girlies that are like decent men and focus on your relationship with god and focus on your friendships and, da -da 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 -da. and that's what my 20s has been all about my friends traveling catching a fight doing whatever i want to do spending money willy-nilly like that's what i do and like y'all not trying to come home to the same person every day y'all not trying to fold his laundry y'all not trying to cook dinner Y'all not trying to go to Pilates after you make your kids lunch? Oh, we got different goals. Right off the bat, let me give it to you like this. Men from other countries are not trying to fly to the USA to rescue, swoop up, or save black chicks because your appearance value is awful. Your attitude stinks. Men are not trying to deal with non-cooperative, combative, selfish, entitled women. So a black woman from the USA finding a man from a foreign country for a serious relationship, forget about it. And then the men right there in your nearest vicinity, you turn them off and you run them away. Look at how you talk about the black men, like you're downgrading. You have to lower your standards. You have to readjust your non-negotiables. You're tired of being on a struggle bus because you're dating black men. You forgot where you come from, baby. Black people come from struggles. Have you forgotten that? We were set back because we were enslaved at one point in time, which means that currently black people in the USA are still trying to climb out of their state of poverty, which means that not many black people are able to go and spend their money willy-nilly, frivolous spending on things that don't matter. Black men in the age range that you mentioned, 27 to 29, they're building for their future. 
that means that they are grinding. They're trying to stack some money, put it to the side, and not waste it on things that don't matter. But as you mentioned in your video, your 20s has been all about you, your friends, traveling, catching flights, doing whatever you wanted to do, spending money willy-nilly. You told black men all they ever need to know about you. You're not loyal, you're selfish, and you have ridiculous spending habits. At the first sign of trouble, you will be the one to turn your back on the men, stab them in the back, and run off, break the relationship, divorce them. For a man that's stacking his bread trying to put something aside, you will be the one who's spitting on some nonsense. In this video, she shares some principal reasons for why black men and no other group of men are trying to save these black women. You're selfish, you're disloyal, you can't be trusted. I'ma end my video like this. Birds of a feather fly together. Gentlemen, do not fall for these hyenas out here who only care about making themselves happy and spending your money.